Hi, welcome to another video. So, I really like free stuff, and one such good and mostly free to use thing is Yourware. Yourware is a new AI coder that is really cool. It can build web apps for you in literal seconds. You can ask it to do anything, and it will just do that and generate the app for you. Not just that, it's like an Instagram of vibe coded applications. It allows you to share your vibe-coded applications with others, even if you haven't built them with Yourware. You can upload a folder of your app, and then it will give you a preview link that you can share with others. Or, if it is just one file, then you can just paste the code and get a preview link. You can get started with this for completely free. So, let me show you how it works and how you can use it. This is what it looks like. You can also just sign up, and you'll see this interface. Here, you have three options. Create, Upload, and Paste Code. Create allows you to give it a prompt, and it can generate the code relating to that prompt and let you preview it, similar to artifacts. Then you can chat and make it better. And once it looks good, you can publish it to a link, which can either be public or private, and you can share it with others. It's literally your software. Their Create feature is actually really good. It can look up images on the internet for inspiration, and it can do web searches. It really makes some amazing applications, which I'll show you in just a bit. But there's also the option of uploading your own project. You can just upload your code, and it will run it and give you a preview URL that you can keep private and share with people you want to share it with. This is pretty good, because it allows you to easily code in some other editor of your choice and just use it to host them on a simple URL and share it with others, which is kind of cool as well. There's also the paste code option, which allows you to just paste a file of HTML code, and it can get that published on a URL to share with others. This is handy if you want to use it for something like a small mini app or anything like that. You can also see a ton of community generations here as well and use them and have a bit more fun. You can also download the code or remix it and change something in it, which is also pretty cool if you ask me. So, that's cool. It allows you to upload and make as many preview links as you want. But if you want to use the Create feature, then it gives you five tasks daily. Now, let me show you the Create feature. You can just come here, and then here, you can enter what you want to generate in the prompt box over here. You can also add a visual reference if you want to give it any. Like, if you want to give it the image of a mock-up or design that you want to replicate, then you can easily do that here, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's try to do something. So, I'm going to ask it to make me a Minesweeper game. Let's see how well it is able to get this done. Anyway, you can see that it has started here. And on the left is where you'll see the preview once the app is made. While on the right, you can see it doing the stuff over here. If we wait a bit, then it's now done. And we have the preview here. As you can see, it is now done, and the chat also reflects the same. If we try to use this, then this also works insanely well, which is pretty good to see. Anyway, you can now ask it to do anything in your chat option, or you can also hit the select option and select an element on the page, and then reference that in the chat and ask it to change something. So. I'm going to select this heading here, and I'm going to ask it to change this to say King Sweeper. Once we do that, you can see that it just gets started on it. This reference option is pretty cool, because you can see graphically and ask it to change something or anything like that. In just a bit, you can see that it's done, and the preview here is also now updated, and it did what we wanted. So, 
This is pretty good nonetheless. It is pretty advanced. But now there's another feature that I liked, which is this boost option. This is actually insane. What it does is that it just boosts or makes the design of your application extremely good looking by searching designs on the web and everything. So, once I hit the boost option, what you'll see is that it will now recursively go through multiple steps and try to search for some stuff on the internet for inspiration, as well as try to make some researches on the design and think through the process as well. In a little bit of time, it will revamp the design and make it look better. And you can see that it now looks extremely amazing. I mean, it is really better than how it looked before which is literally awesome if you ask me. Now, you can also easily publish it to a link, and it will show you the option to get a link that you can share with anyone and use. You can either make it private or public and use it to share the app that you have made with your team or anyone that you want. If you make it public, then you can also share it on the community board for other people to use which is also pretty cool. Once you open the link, it will look something like this. If it is private, then you will need to enter the key, and then it will open up. You can then use it all you want, or you can also share your reactions of what you think about it through here, as well as remix this. Meaning, you can make any changes to it, and then publish your forked version of it, which is also pretty amazing. Also, you can download the code that it has generated by going to the profile section, where you can see the apps that you have generated. You can just hit the dot button here, which will allow you to download the source code, and then use it locally if you wish to do that, which is also kind of cool. You can also use the upload and paste code options as well. Let's use the paste option, and here, I'll paste the same code that I have downloaded just now to demo this. But you can upload any of your code or project and use it to generate a preview. Anyway, as soon as we do that, you can see that in a bit, we get the URL that we can use and share with others, which is amazing. The best part is that these features are free, and you get five tasks daily as well, while you can upgrade to get some even more cool options. I really liked it, and you can go ahead and give this a try, and try to build some cool stuff with it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option, or join the channel as well, and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!